In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Go High Level's new AI employee. This new AI employee is their suite of AI features that are offered inside of their platform that make it really easy for you to implement AI as a business or to sell it to other businesses as an agency. In this video, I'm going to be touching on what this product is and diving deep into how we can actually build something amazing with the new Go High Level AI employee. So you're probably asking yourself, what is the Go High Level AI employee? Or you might even be asking yourself, what even is Go Go High Level. So Go High Level is essentially an all-in-one marketing and automation platform that also includes a CRM. So think about if you own an agency or you run a business and you, you want to convert your leads into customers, you want to manage your customers, all these different things. So that is essentially what Go High Level is. But in this video, I'm going to be touching on Go High Level AI employee, obviously. So what does this include? This includes a voice AI. There is a funnel and website AI. There's a reviews AI, conversational AI, content AI, and workflow. AI. These are all included in the AI employee. However, in this video, I'm simply going to be touching on the voice AI side of things because I think this is going to be really interesting and useful for you guys in this video. All right. So first things first, I'm actually going to click on this. This will actually take me to a link that will allow me to sign up with a 30 day free trial with go high level. So if you'd like to do that, make sure to sign up right here. What I need to do, I actually need to sign into my account and then I'm going to show you how to use the high level employee. And then I'm going to show you how to use the AI employee. So as you can see, I'm now inside my agency dashboard. And the first thing we need to do when we're inside of here is actually enable the AI employee inside the sub accounts that we're looking to give access to. So I'm going to come over to settings. I'm going to come over to AI employee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to then enable the AI employee, click on this enable here. And next up, I should be able to sign into my sub account and then access this. So let me go ahead and do that now. Great. So now inside of my sub account, I could come over to the settings over here. You could see I have multiple different things. So I have conversational AI, I have the voice agents AI, and what I'm gonna be focusing on this video is the voice AI agents. So we're gonna be building an AI agent that could actually work for our business, have context inside of our CRM, make phone calls for us, take inbound phone calls, and actually create and perform certain actions with inside of Go High Level. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come up here and click on create agent, this blue button. And this is where we're gonna configure our AI voice calling agent. Let's go ahead and give this a name. Let's call this outbound AI caller. And I'm gonna add my business name, which is AI Agency Accelerator. And then right here, we could actually choose the voice that we want for our AI assistant. So just like any other AI voice platform, we could go ahead and search through these. Let's listen to a couple of these. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. Okay, so that's teen, that's Samantha. She's a teen and she's focused. I think I need a little bit older sounding voice. I don't want her calling for our business when she sounds like a little younger. So let me go ahead and listen to some of these other ones. If you don't know where you are going, you will probably end up somewhere else. Else. Failure doesn't mean you are a failure. It just means you haven't succeeded yet. Cool. So Paula, I like this one a lot. Let's go ahead and move forward with that one. And we're going to be doing this actually for inbound calls. So let's change this to inbound caller. As of now, they do not have outbound calls with inside of Go High Level. This is a feature they're actually working on building out. But let's go ahead and set this up for inbound calls. And here is where we could actually change the initial message for our AI agent. So basically right now it's going to say, hey, you've reached AI agency accelerator. How can I help you today? That sounds good. We could obviously customize this however we want. Let's move on now. And next up is our agent goals here. So you could see we could actually collect certain details with our AI agent. So we could collect a name, we could collect an email, we could collect the address and the contacts issue. So what I'm going to do is let's just grab the name, the email and the contacts issue that they're running into. And then this will actually store this information inside of the user's profile inside of our Go High Level CRM. So what we could do is we could actually trigger a workflow when the call is complete. For this use case, I don't need to actually connect this to any of our workflows. You can see we have existing triggers here and uh, workflows that we could actually send it down. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to click this box here where it says receive email notifications post call completion. So when this phone call is finished, it will then send me an email to my personal email, letting me know who the AI spoke to, how the conversational went with a transcript and whatnot. So that's, that's pretty cool. We could also send this to different specific users if we want. So something important that I want to note is if we just just basically click on this here and we don't click on switch to advanced mode for our agent goals. This will essentially only be an AI answering system. And the whole goal of it will be to collect the user's name, collect the user's email, collect the contacts issue or the address as well. Basically 
any of this information that we select here. If we want this to have context on our business and be able to answer questions that are business related or give insights to the caller, then what we're gonna need to do is come over and click on switch to advanced voice mode. So this right here is an easy to ship product that you could actually sell within your agency in order to answer phone calls, collect user information. It's almost like a lead form, but with an AI voice instead of like a form that you fill out on a website. So what we wanna do is we wanna come and click to switch to advanced voice mode. And then now we need to actually give this a prompt here. This is where essentially we need to structure exactly how we want our AI voice agent to interact with the different users. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and write a prompt right now for myself and for this specific use case with inside of my go high level. And then you could kind of see exactly how you could prompt this for yourself. All right, so first of all, what I'm gonna do before writing the prompt is I'm actually gonna come back and change the initial message here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually build an AI caller for an electrical company in order to help book consultations in order to service them for their electrical needs. So I'm gonna say, hey, this is, or let's say, hey, you have reached Bend Electrical. How may I help you today? So that's a good initial message there. And then let's change this to Bend Electrical. Great, now we can move on. So we're gonna then click on all of these for the goals again. We're gonna do name, email, must do address and the contacts issue. And then let's go ahead and switch to advanced mode where we're actually gonna write our prompt. All right, so I wrote a prompt here and let me just show you kind of high level of exactly what it is. So you could use this to formulate your prompt. So foundational information, I like to give give some context on what our company is so that way our AI voice agent knows how to respond accordingly. So company information, Bend Electrical providing comprehensive electrical services to residential clients. The role of the assistant is to handle inbound calls to schedule appointments. The target audience is gonna be residential customers seeking electrical services. I explain my unique value proposition and then also I go over objection handling. So pricing concerns, discuss available service plans, fitting various budgets. And here are some other things, urgency of the service, service scope questions. So clarifying comprehensive residential service offerings, competitive comparisons, excessive information requests. And then here is the script here. So first of all, we're gonna introduce and greet the caller. So greet the caller and state the purpose, offering a friendly state to the interaction. And then we're gonna gather information. So whether that is asking the, the name, verifying their contact information, including their email, and then also understanding what the reason for the call is. So it's going through all these different steps. You could see that I have different objection handlings. We have conclusion and next steps. So we want to confirm appointment details, thank the caller for reaching out and mention any follow-up actions. So this prompt here is essentially the guidelines for our AI agent or AI employee to follow in order to conduct these AI phone calls as perfectly as possible. Next up, what we want to focus on is the ability to set up actions inside of Go High Level, which is really awesome being able to do this. So we could either create a call transfer, which essentially will transfer this phone call to an actual person. So let's say if the AI is having trouble or if the user asks to speak with a person we could set up that call transfer right here so let's go ahead and just name this human handoff and i'm going to add a phone number here that we want to transfer this phone call to and then we need to specify when this transfer should take place so let's just say if the user asks to speak with a human or with the actual business itself and we could get as like technical with that as we want, but I think that should be able to identify, like I should, I think the AI should be able to identify when it needs to actually initiate this call transfer. And then let's say, please wait while I transfer you to someone to help. There we go. So this is what it's going to say while or like right before it transfers us. So let's go ahead and add that action. And then let's take a look at these other actions that we'd like to give to our AI agent to perform. So we could actually trigger a workflow. Like I said before, if we have a specific workflow that we want this to trigger, whether that is send them down a specific email marketing campaign or whatnot. If you've used Go High Level before, you've used their workflow builders. They're awesome for creating automations, especially with like AI in the loop using ChatGPT or whatever the case may be. So you could go ahead, use that and send them down a a text message campaign, a email campaign. You could send them down retargeting ads. All of this stuff is within Go High Level. It's a very comprehensive platform with so many different things to offer. And I'm not gonna go over all of it in this video. For the sake of this, I'm not gonna click on that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the contact field. So what we need to do is let's just call this update contact. And then we're gonna name this right here. Let's just add, okay, so we could update any of these contact fields that we would like. So let's go ahead and name this budget. So this right here is going to extract the 
your budget based on the prompt within the phone call. And then it will then save this as an action into their contact. And then we'll save this as budget. So it'll update their contact and then what to update in the field. Let's just say budget of the caller and then we'll overwrite existing contact field and then let's just say their budget is five thousand dollars and then we could add other ones right here just so we could get a sense of what one of their responses will be for the ai to identify there we go so let's save that and now if this user already has a contact this will now update that contact with their budget if they actually discuss it on the phone call all right and then what i actually did is i changed this in the prompt to ask the user what their budget for the project is and then it will now create this action and update the contact field just like what I added. And then we could also send an SMS text message. So we could basically send an SMS to this user after the phone call and say, hey, thanks for the phone call. We customize it however we want. And we could use an SMS template, whatever we would like to do, but I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. All right, so we're almost done setting up on our AI agent inside of Go High Level that actually could create phone calls for us and update contact information inside of our CRM. What we need to do now is we need to assign a phone number to our agent for it to actually make calls for us, obviously. So what we could do is we could either select a phone number. You could see I already purchased one. However, what we could do is we could actually click on buy a new phone number and this will use Go High Level's lead connector. And then essentially we could just click add number and we could select a different country. And basically what we could do is we could choose any phone number here in different locations. And we basically we'll just click on this and we will buy it and we'll pay $1.15 per month for this phone number. But I already have a phone number here. So let me go back. All I need to do is select this phone number and then we could also set working hours for the agent however like i'm just gonna have this 24 7 why not so this could actually take calls for us even when we're not working overnight or something and then what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and test this out and i should be receiving a phone call on my phone all right there we go we actually have our phone call coming in let me go ahead and answer this hey what's going on Hey, you have reached Bend Electrical. How may I help you today? Yeah, I just had some questions. I need to get something fixed, um, like with my electrical in my house. I wanted to like speak more about it. Sure thing. Could you tell me a bit more about the issue you're experiencing? That way I can help you better. Yeah, so for whatever reason, one of my outlets just is not working and I've tried resetting the breaker. It's just not working. So I needed some help. So I figured I'd call you guys. Got it. Sounds frustrating. We can definitely help with that. Can I get your name and contact information to set up an appointment for you? Yeah, sure. What contact information do you need for me? I'll need your full name, phone number, and email address. Could you please spell out your email for me? Yeah, so my full name is Brock Messerich. My email address is brockmesserich at gmail.com. And my phone number is this one. Do you have any specific days or times that work best? Uh, yeah. Do you guys have any availability next Monday at like 10 a.m. or something? Let me check that for you. Yes, we do have an opening next Monday at 10 a.m. Shall I book that for you? Yeah, let's go ahead and book it, please. Great. You're all set for next Monday at 10 a.m.? Thanks for choosing Bend Electrical, Brock. If you have any other questions before then, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. All right, there we go. That was our phone call via our Go High Level AI employee. All right, so next up inside of the AI employee, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the automation. So you obviously, if you've used Go High Level before, you know about the workflow automations. But if you don't, I'm going to show you what it is. So right here is an automation slash workflow that we could actually have inside of our Go High Level account. So we could create a new trigger where say if a new contact is created via contact form, it then is sent down this specific workflow. And what I want to touch on is I actually want to come down here and right here is actually the the workflow AI. This is another piece of the AI employee product. As you know, there was voice AI, there's conversation AI, there's workflow AI, content AI, all of these different products all tied together. So what we could do is we could click assist with building and then let's just write out what we're trying to build and it will actually assist us doing this. So let's just say when a new lead fills out a form, trigger the conversational AI to then send them a text or something like that. And I'm not gonna go ahead and build an automation here, but I just wanted to show you how 
the workflow AI works. So that way you could begin using it inside of your account. And this pairs great with the voice AI and the conversational AI. All right, there we go. So now it's actually giving us all the steps. So first of all, we need to choose the trigger and that will be the form submitted trigger. Then we need to specify the trigger settings. We need to add the action, which is conversations AI and then send SMS action. So that'll actually help us walk through and set up all of those. But what I wanna do now is I wanna go back and I want to actually focus on the conversational AI and how we could actually create an AI that texts with our customers or our leads and has context on our business. And I'm gonna show you how to configure that now. So you're gonna click on settings and then come to conversational AI. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click a new one. So there's these different templates here. We have general Q and A. So if you just wanna simplify customer interactions by answering common questions, this is a great option. We also have the appointment booking option, which is pretty cool as well. For this, let's just go ahead with general Q and A. And so this should save you or your sales team time where instead of having to text back and forth with the lead, you know, this already has context on your AI and it's essentially a chatbot that has the ability to text and is really easy to set up. So let's just say, let's call this Q and A agent, say Q A agent. And then, so we could obviously set the status here of our bot. So we want to turn this on autopilot. So that means that the bot will reply automatically based on training data. Great. Here we go. We could change um, any of this information here. So let's just say band electrical. Here we are click save. And then next up, what I want to focus on is the bot training. So what we could do is we could actually add a URL here. So if you have a website that you would like to scrape, we could then scrape that and it will get that data and will understand everything about your business. So that way it could actually respond to customers as any other AI chatbot would function. So let's test this out. I know this is not the Bend Electric website that I was referring to in this video, but let's just use the Apple website and because there's a lot of information here that we could extract and then let's test it and uh, actually see how it works. You can see it's fetching these pages. It's gonna crawl all these different URLs on the website and actually get that data. All right, so I'm gonna click all URLs in this domain because this actually just took this uh, landing page here. So I want something that actually shows the entire website. So it's going to crawl the entire apple.com site now. All right. So that took a couple minutes, but you could see it now crawled this entire website and there were 751 pages. So now our bot has context on all of this information. So if you have a big website, believe me, you should be able to train it on all that information. So next up, I just needed to click train because it fetched all of these, but now I need to actually train it on all of these pages. So let's go ahead, let it do that. And then we'll we'll dive back into this. So the last part we need to do in order to configure our conversational AI is come over to the bot goals, similar to what we did with the AI voice agent. We need to actually write a prompt. So if you want a resource on how to actually generate your prompts, here is a resource that GHL actually added. It's called AI prompting 101. So this will walk through exactly how you should prompt your conversational AI agent. You could also add custom values here. So you could address a user by their name. You could, you know, pull any information, whether that is like a payment link, whether that is an appointment that they booked, all this stuff. We could add all those custom values there. And then we want to come down and look at the action. So again, same thing with the voice AI, we could actually configure a few different actions here. So we could add automatic appointment booking. We could also add trigger a workflow. We could add contact information or we could then stop the bot. So for whatever reason, if it's going off the guardrails, we could just stop, stop the bot there. So guys, this is the conversational AI inside of the AI employee. Next up on the list of the AI employee is the funnels. So if you come over to sites, you could then click on create a new funnel and there's this thing called funnel AI. So we could basically write out what it is we're trying to build and it will build a funnel for us with AI, almost like its own website generator. So let's just call this bend electrical electrician. Basically we put in all these preferences. So I'm looking for a funnel for my electrical company business to generate more leads and content should feel friendly. So we could like obviously customize this however we want literally click generate and it will begin building this funnel for us I and mean, make it super simple for people. If you're not technical, don't know how to use GHL, these AI employee features make it really simple to give yourself a starting point as well as like build some really amazing things, leveraging AI. And here we go. Just off one simple prompt that took literally like two minutes, right? That took literally like 30 seconds. Now we have the beginning of a website here or a funnel that we could then create. We can then preview this or we can, you know, make some additional edits to it. So that is the AI funnel builder inside of the AI employee. All right, guys, there we have it. There is the go high level AI employee. I know I touched on a couple of those 
features a little briefly. We dove deep into how to build an AI voice agent using the voice AI feature inside of high levels AI employees. So I hope you guys got some value from this video. This is a really cool product and there's so many different use cases for you. If you're a business owner, if you're an agency looking to resell this software as your own CRM system or whatever the case may be. So they were actually kind enough to give you a 30 day free trial of the platform. So make sure to click the link in the description and sign up for a free trial. Or if you're already a high level user and you want access to the high level employee, you could do that as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I'd like to thank high level for sponsoring this video. Hope this was valuable to you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.